how to pay smaller fees for Bitcoin transactions using blockchain. Hey guys, this is OJ here. Today I'm going to show you how to pay less fees for your Bitcoin transactions when you're using blockchain wallet. First of all, you need to log into your blockchain wallet and then you're going to be sending a transaction. So I've selected Bitcoin and then I'm going to send. Now here I will be entering the wallet address. I will be choosing the amount that I want to send. Let's say it's something like 0.05. Just for as an example, you can select whatever you're going to be sending, of course. And here you have a transaction fee. By default, you have two options, regular and priority, which means that for priority, you are paying a higher fee so that it can be approved in the next block or in the next half an hour, whatever it is. Currently, that is 33 cents of a euro and the regular is 10 cents. This will be changing on a daily basis because transactions, the fees for transactions are also changing according to the volume of transactions that are waiting, that are pending, you know, waiting to be approved. So um, if you're not happy with that set transaction fee for you, you can go here and you can click on customize fee and now you will be able to choose how many satoshis per byte you want to be paying for this transaction. And if we go back to this website here, we will see that there are transactions with uh, seven, eight satoshis, five or six, three to four satoshis. But of course, these are the ones that have the longest queue. The blockchain set fee is for regular transaction is five satoshis. So this is why we are also seeing a few other wallets are using that as a set fee. And this is why we are seeing quite a high queue for the five to six satoshi per byte. So if you want your transaction to go faster, you will be selecting 11, 10, maybe 13 or over, over that amount. If you're not in a hurry and you don't really want to be spending too much on your fee, then you can choose something like three or four satoshis. I wouldn't really go as low as one or two satoshis because that would definitely mean having a longer wait. Uh, and you can see this just updated as we speak. So the queue got even longer here for the one to two Satoshi. But I would, I mean, I would be okay with choosing something like four Satoshi, which is different to five, mainly because uh, a lot of wallets are set to five Satoshis. And then what's happening is the four Satoshi or three is not as popular. So now we have less transactions, of, uh, less of a queue for transactions with three to four Satoshis. This is right now, so I encourage you to check this website before you select the amount of Satoshis you're going to be paying because uh, you might, you know, you, you will need to follow that. You don't really want to be selecting um, an amount that will place you in the longest queue because that means your transaction might be pending for days, okay? So this is a website that you should be checking. I have it below the video in, in the description, so you can grab the link from there. Also, there is another, um, this is a Twitter account. It's called Bitcoin Core Fee. And uh, here you can see the fees for um, currently for every hour, pretty, pretty much is the update. Uh, what is the fee for the next block? For instance, right now it is 10 Satoshi per byte if you want it to be approved within the next block. If within the next hour, it is going to be four or five Satoshi. And then if you want to wait more than a day, you can go for one Satoshi per byte. And uh, this is also different for each day. So for instance, we can see that just yesterday or less than a day ago, it was 17 hours ago, the next block fee was 3.4 Satoshi and you could pay 2.2 Satoshi within to be approved within the next hour. But that changes really because right now apparently the network the network has more transactions on the queue in order to be approved. So this is why we are seeing a higher fee for the next block. And the previous block, the fee was 12.2 Satoshi, the, the previous hour, I should say. So um, this is uh, what you need to do. Let's go back to blockchain. So basically you will choose the fee here, Satoshi per byte, let's say four, or you can go at three. And this is basically showing you what will be the estimated fee in your local currency. In my case, it's in Euro, so it's showing me that I will be paying five cents. Let's say four Satoshis, I will pay six cents for this transaction. If it's a small transaction, that makes sense to me. But if I'm going to be sending one Bitcoin or something like that, which is quite a large transaction, then just to make it faster and for peace of mind, 
I would probably go for something like nine satoshi where i'm paying 14 cents which is still nothing it's still a super small amount for um you know a few thousand euros so this is why it really depends on how urgent is the transaction and how much are you prepared to wait so this is what you can do with blockchain.com check out my other videos for other wallets if you're using any of them i have ledger and coinomi jacks and more coming soon